Who is this devil? Is he real? Or is it a figment of your imagination? Or is it just something in philosophy? According to the Quran, he's very real. Substance is real. You just don't see it. He lived before us. He's still alive today. That's an amazing subject right there, isn't it? That's amazing. The word shaitan is derived from the root shatan, means empire and base. Shaitan refers to an entity that is rebellious, irrespective of whether it is of humans or jinn. It is also said that it means a nefarious soul, who is distanced from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from the truth. So shaitan is in both forms, the jinn and the humans, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَا لِكُلِّ نَبِيٍّ عَدُوًا شَيَاطِينَ الْإِنسِ وَالْجِنِّ Now what, what is this about the jinn? Why do you have to believe in that? Well, they're part of something called al-ghayb. Al-ghayb means the things you don't see, the unseen. You agree and I agree, we don't see Allah. Okay, so he's in the ghayb, the unseen. We agree, there are angels, and you don't see them. They're in the ghayb, unseen, made out of light. And now the jinn, and we don't see them. They're also in the ghayb. They're made from a fire which has no smoke to it. And if fire has absolutely nothing like smoke to it, or that it could be that you don't see that either. There's heat that you don't actually see, isn't that true? The both kind of shayateen are trying to lead people to evil deeds. The jinn kind of them are whispering to your hearts so that you can't see them or hear their whispering. And the human kind of them are whispering to your hearts in a way that you can see and hear but not realize it as whispering. And he can be anyone, even a friend of you who suggests you for drinking alcohol or any other kind of evil deeds. As far as the question is concerned with Iblis, it should be noted that Shaitan is a common noun, whereas Iblis is a proper noun. Iblis is also from among the jinn, who was the first creature that disobeyed Almighty Allah's command. We don't see the jinn, but we said that they have choices, and they were making choices even before Adam or human beings were ever created. And their choices were sometimes good, sometimes bad. From them comes the one we call Lucifer or Iblis. And who is that? Who is Lucifer? Who is Iblis? You might say he's the devil, the Satan or Shaitan, as he's called in the Arabic language. But actually, he started out as a worshiper of Allah. And he was worshiping and praying to Allah and extolling Allah to the extent that Allah raised him up to be even with the angels. Now remember, this guy Iblis is not an angel. But he was worshipping alongside of them because of his ibadah or worship. Being so lovely and Allah raise him up, you see. But then what happened? Oh, and this is an important story. So we'll digress from a moment from our beauties of Islam to go into this to get a concept here to understand a big mistake that some people make when they say that he's from the angels. Angels don't make mistakes. They do as they're commanded. So when Allah created the best of his creation, what did he create? He created Adam, a human being. He created Adam from what? He created him from mud or clay. I want to show you what happened after Allah created Adam. Allah ordered all the angels bow down. And all the angels did because they have to do as they're commanded. And they bowed down. All of them bowed. Except Iblis. He didn't bow down. Now if you read this, in context, you understand that he was not an angel. But if you just read the words, all the angels bowed down except Iblis, you'll say, well, see, that may, he means he was an angel. But otherwise, in the Quran, we find in other places that Allah said he wasn't an angel, but he was from the jinn, and he's created from a smokeless fire. And that's exactly what he said. You created Adam from mud, but I'm created from something better, from a smokeless fire. So I refuse to bow down. Why? Because I'm better than him. I am better than Adam. And I refuse to bow down to him. And by so doing, he disobeyed Allah. And whoever disobeys Allah, he's in trouble. But especially if he does it out of his arrogance and his pride. I refuse to obey because, huh, I know better. 
And in this way, he put himself in the worst possible condition with the law. Now, Allah condemned him to, for, to hell forever. And he said, I don't even care. This let me take him, meaning Adam, and his children along with me to hell. What? For what? Because of this thing called pride or arrogance. Kibber in the Arabic language. And what is kibber? And kibber is something comes from kabara. Kabara is the root of the word akbar. And only Allah is akbar. Allah is greater and greater and greater than anything. But a human being has no right in front of Allah or anything it's created. The jinn, the angels, nothing have the right to come in front of Allah like this and say, oh, who am I? You know, I'm this, I'm that. No, Allah gave you a commandment. You do it. Now the important point is that everyone thinks that it is because of shaitan that we commit sins. That's why they're asking some questions like, why Allah created shaitan? Or why Allah didn't finish shaitan so that we wouldn't commit sins? Here is a misunderstanding. Shaitan cannot do anything more than whispering. To make it more clear, let's ask a question. Before Iblis became shaitan, there was no other shaitan, right? So who told Iblis to disobey Almighty Allah's command? Here is the point. There was no shaitan before him. He did it because of his nafs. Suppose that even if there was no shaitan, still we'd have nafs. So we'd commit sins. Because this world is a test for the mankind and the jinn kind. Now same as the case with Iblis, he's also in this test because he is a jinn and he has nafs. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't create him as shaitan. Rather he himself chose to be shaitan. Not only Iblis but all the other shayateen are choosing to be shaitan by disobeying Almighty Allah's order. Now, what happened next? Well, that's when Allah told Adam that he could have anything that he wanted in all of the paradise. Go ahead, enjoy. But there's one tree, don't eat from it. Of course, you know what's going to happen. And the devil came to him and to Eve and got them to eat from that tree. And they were cast down because of that. But Allah knew from the beginning they would eat from it. That's why Allah put it there. Because this life, and this is the whole reason for me telling you this story, so you can get this one beauty of Islam, to understand this one thing. This life is nothing more than a test. The obvious point is that Iblis was the first of all shayateen. Therefore, he is the leader of them. And all shayateen are tools for this test, even though they are also giving tests.